Hey Facebook, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. I want to wish you a happy St. Patty's Day. I've been wearing green all day and um, I just have a few minutes before my next Zoom networking call. How many of you are attending Zoom calls this week, right? We're all like sequestered into our house and uh, and Zoom is really the only way to network these days and all the in-person events that you're attending are probably turning into virtual events. I know even uh, chapter run events that are in different cities around the country are now turning to virtual events and which is cool because then I can attend all like events in Massachusetts and Texas right now. So I'm super excited but I wanted to just come on and, and I wanted to give a couple laughs today because I know it's a tough time, but we still have to celebrate and we still have to know that uh, we still have big dreams. Don't sit on the couch and just go hunker down and just go, oh my God, life sucks, you know? Get out there, do something, make it happen, you guys. You can make it happen. You can make whatever happen that you want. Um, we just might have to shift the way we're doing things or in how we're thinking of things and how we're approaching business or how we're approaching our livelihood, etc. And I was saying to my husband this morning, thank goodness I like you guys. I like hanging out with you and Riley, <laughs> with Jason and Riley, because, you know, if I was in a family where we were kind of bickering and we didn't really like each other, maybe we didn't see each other very often and passed in the night, you know, those kind of families. And if that's you, I'm so sorry, um, but don't settle. There's always a better way. But I'm so happy and thankful that I love my family. I love hanging out with my husband more than anything. Um, and we only get Riley like every two or three days. So, you know, we spend time with her when we can. And it's just super fun. So hopefully you are enjoying your family time during this time. And it is St. Patrick's Day. And I'm really, as a previous bartender, you guys, I'm really bummed about the, I think, I don't know if it was the governor of California or the president or whoever, but they say, oh, you got to shut, shutting down all the restaurants and wineries. It's like, what? This is like one of their biggest nights of the year. And I hope to God that people still utilize uh, the bars and restaurants out there because I feel so bad for everybody that can't make money it, that are in those types of businesses and um, I know it's only 10 minutes to 4 p.m. here on the Pacific Coast, but uh, I got out some wine <laughs> Because you know what? <clears throat> I'm getting on a call for like an hour and a half in about 10 minutes with uh, my WPN sisters and uh, Women's Prosperity Network. And uh, it's a great group of girls. And I was on one with them earlier this morning too because they have two in one day and I just thought, well, I might as well attend them both. But um, it's, you know, it's a time to cherish the relationships that we do have, uh, engage more on video. You know, it's so amazing is that we can actually talk to people anywhere in the world right now. I mean, we didn't used to do that when I was in my 20s and 30s. I mean, we have it so good right now. As long as the internet stays uh, alive and we don't get crash the internet because we're all on it, um, I am actually putting together a list of alternate video software conferencing services because Zoom, I mean, they increased like a, I want to say that, Someone said they had like a 4,000% in, um, increase in util utilization just in this last week. So I don't know if they're prepared for all of us to come on Zoom, right? So there's other options, you guys, for doing um, online meetings and things. Like I was on, I was, so I'm making a list and I'll share it soon. I am um, don't think I have it up. Oh, the other one that's very similar to Zoom is Uber Conference, like Uber and Lyft. Uber conference, there's WhatsApp, there's Instagram, uh, recently added a feature for your cell phones apparently, um, but I, I, don't know, I don't like doing videos on my cell phone, so we'll see if I look at that. Um, Facebook Messenger's group video calling, but it's, um, I don't know, it, my assistant put some things together. I have to look into all these options. Um, I'm not a big fan of Skype either. Uh, I never really found that it was that reliable, but it's an option, right? It's still out there and Skype's an option. 
Um, and there's a whole bunch of other ones that are a lot more costly. I, I prefer the free or low cost myself. Uh, anyways, so hopefully you're finding new ways to generate business. Um, is there anybody out there celebrating tonight? Uh, you know, St. Patrick's, are you, are you going out still? I know personally we stocked up on food. We have food coming out our ears. The only thing we couldn't find still this week is toilet paper. The running joke on Facebook, right, is that everybody's out of toilet paper and I know the stores will stock up I'm not freaking out about it but we do literally have about a week left and I almost pulled the trigger buying some um, <laughs> buying some uh, industrial box of toilet paper earlier for 60 bucks <laughs> and Jason said don't do that just wait the stores will stock back up and they will and I know there was lines out the door of uh, Winco I think it was yesterday it was crazy how they're limiting people to go into the store and limiting how many things of different things we can buy. You just kind of have to laugh. <laughs> I mean, really, what can we do, right? And you just have to go from store to store to see where to get your stuff, you know? And um, I, I just, I'm finally feeling better. I, I, I had the flu for like three weeks and a cough and all that. And, and I haven't been able to drink alcohol, not that I need it. I just like, so I brought out the wine tonight. So I'm like, yeehaw, on my call with the Women's Prosperity Network, it's going to be a good call. Now, this is my um, fourth Zoom call of the day, you guys. So you want to talk about networking? I am a networking fanatic. And I was on, <clears throat> well, I was on my mastermind call. So I lead a mastermind, my Live Big Mastermind. I was on our call this morning at 8 a.m. That was my first call. And then I was on the Women's Prosperity Mastermind from 9 to 10.30. And then I got an email from a gal, Wendy, that I met at an event. And she was having a little lunch call on Zoom. I said, well, I don't have any plans for lunch, so I will, I'll go to her lunch call, right? And uh, so I went to her lunch call, and that was fun. And then, um, and she's probably going to do them more often. And then I have another WPN call in a minute here. And then even Polka Dot Powerhouse has another call tonight at 5. I mean, I could be sitting here all night. I don't like to work that late. But, um, but, uh, but networking and seeing people and networking, that really rejuvenates me. And it keeps me in a positive mindset, too. So if you're not feeling that positive these days, or you're tired of the doom and gloom, then seriously jump on some Zoom calls with some people. And you know, the more people, the better, and the more calls, the better, frankly. Because if you need to talk to more people in order to have people enroll in your programs, products, and services, then you need to get where those people are, and they're all on Zoom now. So um, I've got a whole list that I'm building of where all the calls are. If you are running calls, like I see Steffi Jo here on the call. She runs the eWomen Network in Reno. If you're running a virtual call uh, on a like a monthly basis right now, then I want to know about it because I'm building a big resource list of those. So please post in the comments when and where your calls are and how does someone signs up and if they have to be a member or paid or if it's free or if they get free one time that would be great to know i'd really love to know and so um thanks for showing up you guys uh one last thing of fun news is uh, I just heard today and I confirmed with my CPA that as a corporation, we can put off paying our taxes for 90 days. Woohoo! <laughs> so I'm kind of excited because I had a few thousand dollars I was going to have to pay in April. And uh, so I'm excited to put that off. No problem. And even my corporate $800 fee or whatever might be postponed. That's a to be announced. But the other is definitely a done deal. And my friend Joe, who's also an accountant type, he said the SBA right now is giving a lot of small business loans um, for people who are affected by the coronavirus. So probably the ones that are hurt the most, like restaurants and retail and stuff. But if you know anybody, make sure they look into the SBA in their state and uh, look for resources there. And so today I just wanted to pass along some good news and some good cheer and some happy Happy St. Patty's Day, you guys, and hope you're staying safe and dry and full of love in your family. Talk to you soon. Bye.